Hello world, hello friends. You will either be speechless or want to chat to everyone about these chat GPT plugins. Now I was not impressed at plugins before, but they're getting better and better exponentially fast. And I took it upon myself to comb through each and every one of them to curate a list of the creme de la creme. And today we're talking about a mind boggling collection of the top 15 best plugins for developers that will make your AI coding experience go from meh to mind blowing. In case you don't know what plugins are, they're like an app store for ChatGPT and make ChatGPT 10 times more useful than it already is. Right now, only ChatGPT Plus users have access to it, and even that access is limited. I keep hitting my quota, but still worth the $20 a month. Let me know if you've tried them, and if so, leave your favorites down below. And of course, consider subscribing, and let's get into it. First and foremost, the best plugin is browsing. This plugin gives ChatGPT access to the internet so you can browse web pages and it can provide you with sources and links. So no more relying on ChatGPT's memory, the memory of a spoon. So now it can fetch info straight from the internet, just like Bard can. And it uses Bing, not Google. But when visiting websites, it has to play by the rules. So no sneaky file downloads and you'll probably get better use from the site if you visit it yourself, but it's still great for quick and dirty research. So just keep that in mind. Next is Code Interpreter. Now I am so sad I don't have access to this one yet because it's by far the most useful one. As soon as I get access, I will show you a whole demo. But right now, let me just show you what some other people are using it for. It's like your very own data scientist, but on steroids. You can upload CSVs and all kinds of data and it can create any kind of visualizations, charts and graphs. As you can see here, for example, histograms, time series plots, word clouds even. It can create so many different kinds of visualizations. And one of the coolest parts about it, in my opinion, is that if it does make a mistake, it can even autocorrect itself. Here, we noticed that it made a mistake in one of its visualizations and it knew how to autocorrect itself. It can also create animated GIFs from scratch. It can do basic video editing, like this slow zoom here. And for coding, the best part is that you can visualize large data sets and treat Code Interpreter as your very own data analyst. Here you can see it using PyPlot to visualize very large data sets, or here we can give it Netflix data. It can analyze trends. You can upload Bitcoin data sets to uncover hidden trends in that too. You can even upload images to extract extract colors and create a color palette. So the possibilities with this tool are endless. Next is Prompt Perfect. So if you're new to ChatGPT and struggling with getting the right responses, Prompt Perfect is perfect for you. It takes your prompt and works its magic to make it way more detailed and specific. So if you're not a prompt engineering expert yet, it's a great way to see how you should tailor your prompts to get the best responses. So this is like having a prompt tailor who knows just what ChatGPT needs to deliver the best answers. All you have to do is type in perfect before your prompt and voila, a perfect prompt every time. So for example, instead of writing, write me a bash script to organize myself, write perfect, write me a bash script to organize my files. Next is Dev Community. This is a new one that just dropped a few days ago, and it's like opening the doors to a virtual community with developers, programmers, and tech wizards. So you can share ideas, collaborate on projects, and dive into discussions, things like that. But I think generally it also gives you better answers for coding related questions, like which frameworks should I use or which path should I take? Next are all website performance plugins with the first one actually being called website performance. And it gives you a score for all your important aspects of your website, like accessibility, SEO, PWA, and it's vital if you want to assess how well your website is performing. And it even gives you opportunities for improvements. Like for my side project, I can reduce the unused JavaScript. There's potential to save 150 kilobytes by reducing the unused JavaScript and deferring loading scripts. Super useful. Another one is the Cloudflare internet traffic radar. So it provides real time insights into internet traffic patterns. It's like having a crystal ball that reveals the secret movements of internet data. You don't have to be a cybersecurity pro or internet guru. You can very easily optimize your site. And the next one does this as well, but more so for SEO. This is an SEO plugin called SEO Stan, optimizes your website's SEO, but I don't wanna do any of that manually. And it's a good thing there's an AI for that. No, really, the name of our next plugin is called there's an AI for that. So you can ask it, how can I improve my web performance using AI? And it'll give you tons of useful suggestions. It's like the saying, there's an app for that. There is really 
an AI for everything now. So this plugin holds the key to the largest database of AI tools in the world. Need a PDF converter and image editing, video editing, you got it. This plugin brings AI magic to fulfill your every technological need. So it's like your little genie in a virtual bottle that grants all your AI wishes. And speaking of cool tools, if you wanna monitor your IT systems from anywhere reliably, there's an app for that. It's called Pulseway and they're the kind sponsor of this video. So you can instantly get notified when things go wrong and manage and control your IT systems anytime, anywhere from your mobile device or desktop. It's really up to you. Pulseway is the only IT management platform that can be managed with the power of your voice, thanks to Siri shortcuts, which is really cool. So from service monitoring to patch management, from endpoint security to remote desktop, Pulseway has you covered. So if you're interested, click the link in the description and start your free trial with Pulseway if you wanna have reliable monitoring for your IT systems. But are you annoyed by sponsorships like that in videos? Well, YouTube videos take a lot of work, so it really supports me when you watch them and I really appreciate you. But if you wanna just quickly skim by and summarize your videos, there's a ChatGPT plugin for that. It's called Vox Script and you can skim through all your videos without watching them. So it searches YouTube video transcripts and provides you with detailed summaries. It's like having a speedy video watcher who can condense hours of content into bite-sized nuggets for you. So now you can stay in the loop without sacrificing all of your free time. And not only is it great to summarize what your favorite Indian YouTubers are teaching you about programming, but it's also a great way to stay in touch with AI news and you can even use them on my YouTube videos. My watch time will be a little bit sad, but you can make it up to me by clicking the like button. I'll, I'll forgive you. <laughs> Next notable plugin is Notable. You can create Python, Jupyter Notebooks, SQL. It supports so many different languages and I actually created one called ChatGPT Plugins. I can access this notebook through a link that it provided for me. It even created a code to load all of my data. And once I have my data loaded, I can start analyzing that data directly from ChatGPT. So I asked it to rate its favorite plugins based on chosen criteria. And if I need any further assistance with my notebooks, I can ask for help. But where can I get this data? Well, there's a plugin for that too. It's called Scraper and it can extract information from web pages like a pro. So we can scrape through data without having to use Scrapey or write sketchy Python scripts and just unleash the power of scraping websites in seconds. Just be sure to use it responsibly and ethically because remember with great scraping power comes great data responsibility and great domain names. That's how it goes, right? Next is one word domains. Now I know you already own too many, but if you're tired of scratching your head trying to find the perfect domain name, one word domains is coming to your rescue. So this plugin is like your personal domain detective. Not only does it check domain name availability, but it also compares prices across different sites. So I just bought a domain name two days ago and I wish that I had this plugin. It's like having a savvy shopping assistant who knows all of the secret domain name deals. The next one is show me. So this plugin turns ChatGPT into a diagram wizard and you can draw all your favorite architecture, networking, coding diagrams, just based on your prompt. It creates real-time data graphs of all types making any complex concepts clear as day so it's perfect for students educators and any professionals that make diagrams I had to make so many architecture diagrams at work so it's great for visual aids by confusion hello clarity the next one is craftables it's your guru in the realm of product development it offers guidance on best practices and helps you shape your product into a masterpiece. It's like having a wise mentor that knows all the tricks of the trade. So if you want to build a product as a newbie, but pretend you're a product ninja, then Craftable is your friend. Here's an example of how I used it for my job board. Next two plugins are for those of you that are out in the world looking for jobs, career pilot and ambition. So job hunting is super exhausting but with chat gpt it just became so much easier so with career pilot it helps you search for jobs based on your location and preferences so it's like having a personal job matchmaker who understands your career ambition i like career pilot since it has salary ranges 
but Ambition can tailor your job to your resume, which you can upload or import from LinkedIn. So they're both really, really good. I would try them both. And that's it. Those are the top 15 plugins I personally found the most useful as a dev, but I'd love to hear yours below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know which plugins you like. Are you even using plugins yet? Do you find them useful? I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, I would super appreciate a like. Remember to subscribe, turn on notifications, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.